Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. I'm Josh Davis. Today is Monday, April 11th, 2022. And I am here to talk about the early slate and the main slate for today's Major League Baseball. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you would give us a like and leave a comment in the comment section. Also, you want to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell, uh, the notifications bell, to turn notifications on if you want to know uh, when our next podcast has been added to the channel. Our presenting sponsor is Prize Picks. If you haven't joined them yet, you can join them at prizepicks.com. Use promo code COACHTALK, all one word, and they will 100% match your first deposit up to $100. Um, if you haven't joined DFS Coach Talk yet, you can join us at dfscoachtalk.com. We have memberships for as low as a three-day membership for $10. Um, going to be going over the top plays today for the four-game early slate, which starts at 2.10 p.m. Eastern. And then I'm going to go over the uh, top plays and fades for the seven-game main slate that starts at 6.40 p.m. Eastern. Uh, my top pitcher on this early slate is going to be Dakota Hudson. He's 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,100 on, on DraftKings. He is the most expensive pitcher on FanDuel, so I don't like him quite as much on there as I do on DraftKings. But um, he's he's coming back from Tommy John surgery, but he's expected to be a regular starter for the, for the Cardinals this year. And he has that matchup that we've been talking about against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, they were, you know, a little bit. They're able to rough up Steven Matz a little bit yesterday, uh, but I think they're going to regress a little bit more towards the mean today uh, against Dakota Hudson. Now, one thing we do want to keep an eye on is the weather. Um, it's looking like there's going to be a pretty strong chance of rain. So if they don't delay this game into the evening, it's probably going to get postponed. So we'll have to look somewhere else. But if this game does play, um, he's one of the one of my top plays on this four game slate. You don't have a lot of great options. So he would be one of them if that game does play. Uh, if you're looking for some value, I like Adrian Hauser. He's 7,800 on FanDuel, 8,900 on DK. He has the opposite scenario as Hudson where he's a better play on FanDuel than DraftKings. Um, he's $1,100 more on DraftKings, and he's going against the Baltimore Orioles, who were shut out yesterday and scored uh, one in three runs in their other two games so far this year. Um, but Hauser showed last year that he was a more than capable starter for Milwaukee. He had the second best ground ball percentage in the league last year at 59%, which was second to only uh, Logan Webb of the Giants. Uh, Baltimore was fourth best in the league last year in home run percentage at 4.1%. So I think going up against a ground ball pitcher like Hauser, if he's able to keep the ball in the park, the, you know, the Orioles could probably struggle to score some runs uh, again today. Another thing that's in his favor is the lineup for the Orioles. He's a lot better against righties than lefties. Uh, lefties hit 273 against Hauser last year, whereas righties were hitting 192. Other than a couple switch hitters and Cedric Mullins and Anthony Santander, the only true lefties on this team are Arunit Odor and Anthony Benboom. Um, they just sent DJ Stewart. He's the other lefty. They sent him down to the minors yesterday. So I think that Hauser has a good opportunity here to have a solid day even if he's not racking up a bunch of strikeouts, that's not really what he does. Um, he did have one double digit strikeout game last year against Miami, but I would expect him to uh, keep the ball in the park, get a lot of ground balls and have a decent fantasy score, um, which is appropriate for his value, especially on FanDuel at 7,800. And then um, my fade pitcher on the early slate is going to be Aaron Savali of the Cleveland Guardians. He's 8,900 on FanDuel. He's 9,500 on DK. He's the most expensive pitcher on DraftKings and the second most expensive on FanDuel. Last year against Kansas City, he allowed four and three runs in his two starts with only three and two strikeouts, which is not terrible. But for his price, if we see similar results, he's not going to hit value. Um, several of the Royals bats have hit above 500 against him. And if he's going to be high owned, I think the Royals stat could be a really good play in tournaments. And that's going to bring me to my first prize picks play of the day. Um, it's going to be Salvador Perez over six and a half fantasy score. He's faced Savali four times and he has two hits and a home run and a double. Um, after a huge year last year with 48 home runs, he's yet to even hit get a hit this year. He's gone 0-4 in all three games, but I think that's going to change in a big way today. 
And I won't be surprised if he not only gets his first hit of the year, but I think that he could get his first home run of the year today. Um, my BVP play of the day is going to be Whit Merrifield, also from the Royals. He's had three hits and nine at-bats against Savali, a single, a double, and a home run. And there aren't a lot of pitchers and batters that have faced each other very many times on this slate, so I'm going to go with Whit Merrifield here. Um, my top stacks on the early slate are going to be the Brewers with Willie Domus, Hunter Renfro, Christian Yelich, Andrew McCutcheon. And then I'm going to go back to that Cardinals stack um, with Dylan Carlson, Paul Goldschmidt, Tyler O'Neill, and Nolan Arenado. Arenado especially has just been on an absolute tear. I think he has a home run in every game so far this year. Um, and then in your GPPs, I definitely like the Royals stack, um, especially, of course, if that if that Cardinals game doesn't play. Um, but Salvador Perez, Whit Merrifield, Andrew Benintendi, Hunter Dozier, that would be the four main guys on the Royals that I like the most. My home run call for the early slate is going to be Salvador Perez. Like I said, he has two home runs um, against Savali and, you know, really good numbers. And, and he's just off to a slow start. And I think he's going to break out of that today. So now we're going to look at the main slate. Um, my top pitcher play on the main slate is going to be Alec Manoa. He's 9,900 on FanDuel, 10,200 on DraftKings. Had a strong season last year, and he looked really good in spring training. Um, he is the most expensive pitcher on this slate. He has one of the toughest matchups on this slate. He faced the Yankees twice last year. The first time he didn't allow any runs in six innings and had seven strikeouts. The last time he faced them, however, was after they added Anthony Rizzo and Jolie Gallo, and he wasn't quite as good. He pitched five innings, allowed three runs with only four strikeouts. So uh, he is going to have a tough matchup, but I think that he also has one of the higher ceilings of the pitchers on this main slate because there just aren't very many great options. Um, my value pitcher on this slate is going to be Huascar Yanoa from the Atlanta Braves. He's 8,600 on both sites. He faced the Nationals three times last year and a lot of zero, zero, and two runs in his three starts. I think he's going to go overlooked a little bit and lower owned. And the Nationals are only averaging two runs per game so far in, you know, just a four game sample size, but they've only allowed two or only scored two runs per game. By no means would I consider this to be a lock. I would consider this to be more of a tournament play. And I would look to Alec Manoa more in cash. Uh, my fade pitcher on this slate is going to be Jamison Tyon. He's 8,300 on FanDuel, 8,000 on DK. He has a very tough matchup against the Toronto Blue Jays. They had the second best batting average in baseball last year and, and their fourth best right now in this young season. Uh, my BVP play of the day for the main slate is going to be Anthony Rendon. He's 3,100 on FanDuel, 4,300 on DK. He's hit 600 against Eliezer Hernandez with six hits and 10 at bat. At bats, he's hit two home runs, a double, and three singles. And that's going to be also my prize picks play of the day on the main slate. It's going to be Anthony Rendon over six and a half fantasy score. Um, I really like Rendon today. And I and I also, going into my stacks, I really like the Angels. So Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Anthony Rendon, and Jared Walsh uh, would be probably my cash stack that I'm looking at. And then the GPPs, I like the San Francisco Giants. Um, Yastrzemski, Brandon Belt, Jock Peterson, Brandon Crawford, the lefties. And then I do like the young Joey Bart, the catcher. He's looked pretty good to me, so I like him as well. My home run call for the main slate is going to be Kyle Schwarber. He's hitting 500 against Taiwan Walker with five hits and 10 at-bats, and all five of those hits have been home runs. So he's really been crushing the ball against Walker, and uh, I think he's going to do it again tonight. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And uh, we hope to see you in DFS Coach Talk. If you haven't joined us yet, we're at DFSCoachTalk.com. Like I said, we have memberships that start as low as uh, $10 for a three-day membership. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at DFS Coach Talk. I'm at JP Davis 1982 Coach is at Joe Servati. And we will be back tomorrow when we look to crush it in MLB DFS.